Hello! Welcome back! So in this video, we're going to answer the same problem but using a different technique. So we are given three points on the circle and we are asked to find the equation of the circle or the standard equation of the circle. So we will answer this one by using a concept from geometry and the standard equation of the circle. No? And let us recall... Uh, that important concept. So, it says here that uh, the perpendicular bisector of a chord of a circle passes through the center of the circle. So, meaning, if this is your circle and you have a chord, so the perpendicular bisector of that chord passes through the center of the circle. So what do we mean by the perpendicular bisector of a line segment or a chord? So the perpendicular bisector is a line perpendicular to your line segment that passes through the midpoint of the line segment. So if this is your line segment or your chord, you get the midpoint and... Uh, let a perpendicular line pass through that midpoint, perpendicular to your chord. And the theorem says that this perpendicular bisector, written in yellow, passes through the center of the circle, which we call HK. So here's how we're going to use that thing to our problem. So I have here the sketch of the problem. So let me just move it here. So what we're going to do is that we're going to get two perpendicular bisector. So for chord AB and for chord BC. So let me draw the perpendicular bisector of AB. I'm going to draw that in color yellow. Uh, say this is the perpendicular bisector of AB. And the perpendicular bisector of CB, I'm going to draw that in color pink. Okay. Oops. So, according to the theorem, these two perpendicular bisectors, the one in yellow and the one in pink, must pass through the center of the circle. So, meaning, the point of intersection of these two perpendicular bisector is the center of the circle. And once we know the center of this circle, we can use the standard form to get the radius. And of course, we can get the standard form of the circle. Okay, so let us do that. And let me just erase this. Okay, let's move it here. So let us compute for the perpendicular bisector of AB. So we need the slope of AB first. So what is the slope of AB? So I'm writing that as M of AB. So the slope is uh, Y2 minus Y1, 5 minus 0 divided by X2 minus X1 or 2 minus 7 which is 5 over negative 5 or negative 1. So the slope of the perpendicular bisector of AB, I'm writing it as M sub perpendicular of AB is equal to, so the slope must be the negative reciprocal of the given chord or AB because AB and this are perpendicular. The negative reciprocal of negative 1 is 1. Okay? And the next thing that we have to compute is the midpoint of AB. So the midpoint of AB, this is the midpoint. Oops. So what is the midpoint of AB? Uh... Average of the x, average of the y, right? So that is 2 plus 7 over 2, 5 plus 0 over 2, or 9 over 2, 5 over 2. So the equation of the 
perpendicular bisector of AB is, uh, do you still remember the formula given a point and the slope of the line that is y minus y minus y naught equal to m times x minus x naught. So we apply it here. Our m is 1. Our point is this one. So we get y minus 5 over 2 equal to 1 times x minus 9 over 2. So this line is the perpendicular bisector of AB. So that is the yellow line. So this is the equation of the yellow line. And we're going to do the same for chord BC to find the equation of the pink line. Okay? So let us do that. We will do the same. So can I get rid of this? Let me just erase this. Okay. Let me change the color of this one to yellow to remind us that this is the yellow broken line. Okay. Okay, and we do the same for, for BC. So what is the slope of BC? So that is y2 minus y1, 2 minus 5 over negative 2 minus 2. So we get negative, uh, what do we get? Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 3 over negative, over negative 4, right? And what is the slope? of the perpendicular bisector of BC. That is the negative reciprocal of the slope of, of BC. By the way, this is 3 fourths because negative over negative is positive. So this is negative 4, 4 thirds. Okay. Oops, let me just check. So this must be 5 minus 3 or 2. 3 minus 5. Oops, this must be 3. 3 minus 5. Sorry. So, we have to correct everything. So, 3 minus 5. So, this is negative 2. So, we now have... I think this is 1 half. Okay. How about the denominator? Let us check this. This is um, negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4, correct? When you simplify this, you get 1 half. So what is the negative reciprocal of this? We get negative 2. And then we compute the midpoint of BC. So what is the midpoint? So this is the midpoint. That is, add the excess divided by 2. So, 2 plus negative 2 over 2. Then, add the y divided by 2. Okay. And if you simplify, you get 0, 4. So, that is the point that we want. And we now apply this. So, the perpendicular bisector of BC has equation. Uh, let me write that in pink to remind us that is the pink broken line. So it's y minus what? y minus, this is x naught, y naught, minus 4 equal to, this is our m. We get negative 2 x minus 0. Okay. Simplify, so it is y equal to uh -huh, negative 4, 
positive 4 minus 2x. Okay. So, this is the pink line. Okay, so, this 2 perpendicular bisector passes through the center of the circle. So, if we're able to find the intersection of those two lines, then we will know the center of the circle. Okay? So, we now have two equations. So, let me just rewrite them. So, we have this first equation. So, let us erase this. The first equation is y minus 5 over 2 equal to x minus 9 over 2 and y equal to 4 minus 2x. So, these are the equations of the two perpendicular bisectors. And the intersection of these two perpendicular bise bisectors is the, intersection, is the center of the circle. So, what I'm going to do is we plug this one here. Because y is equal to 4 minus 2x. So, we get 4 minus 2x minus 5 over 2 equal to x minus 9 over 2. So, multiply both sides by, by 2 to get rid of the fraction. Okay? So, we get 8 minus 4x minus 5 equal to 2x minus 9. So, what happens? Mm, lipat, transpose. 2x plus 4x so you get 8 minus 5 plus 9 so 12 is equal to 6x so x is equal to 2 so that is the x coordinate of the center of the circle okay so we now compute for the y coordinate using this or you can actually use this then solve for y but this one is easier to use so, y is equal to 4 minus 2 times 2, which is 0. Therefore, the center of the circle is 2, 0. So, we are almost done. The standard equation is x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square. And plug in h here, k. This is our h, this is our k. So we get x minus 2 square plus y minus 0 square equal to r square. So the equation of the circle is x minus 2 square plus y square equal to r square. So we are left to solve for r or r squared to get the standard equation of the circle. So what we can do is choose any point here and plug it into your equation and solve for R. Okay? So I think the easiest uh, point to use is 7, 0 because there is a 0. Okay, so let's try that. So at x, y equal to 7, 0, what do we get? Uh-huh. x is 7. 7 minus 2 square plus um, 0 square equal to r square. So r square is, uh, this is a 5 raised to 2, you get 25. So r square is 25. Hence, the equation of the circle is x minus 2 square plus y square equal to 25. So indeed, that is the equation of the circle. And in our previous video, we verified that this answer is correct using a graphing utility. So that ends our discussion for this problem. I hope you learned something new. Thank you and see you in our next videos. Bye!